throat of a little girl that they're not gonna die. I know now. Oh, well, the torture man certainly seemed to be on my side. He seemed to think it was all your fault. Well, mostly your fault. What did you tell him? Just the truth. What particular truth? Just that, you know, all the things I did, I got from stories you wrote and read out to me. You told that to a policeman? Mm-hmm. Just the truth. Michael, that's not the truth. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. What, did you write a bunch of stories with children getting murdered in them? Yes, but... Well, did you read them out to me? Yes. Well, did I go out and murder a bunch of children? Yes. Yes, I did is the answer to that one, so I don't see how that isn't the truth has anything to do with it, let alone the uh, statistic retarded pervert. I mean, you're my brother, and I love you. But, you know, you just spent the past 20 minutes telling me a story about a guy. His main goal in life is to get a bunch of kids to, at a minimum, set themselves on fire. And he's the good guy. And I'm not criticizing. He's a very good character. Katurian, he's a very good character. He reminds me a lot of me. How does he remind you of you? Well, you know, getting kids to die, all that. Michael, the pill man never killed anyone. And all the children that did die were gonna lead horrible lives anyway. Exactly! All children are gonna lead horrible lives. You might as well save them the hassle. No, not all children are gonna lead horrible lives! Um... Well, did you lead a horrible life since you was a kid? Yes. Did I lead a horrible life since I was a kid? Yes, that's two out of two for start. They're gonna destroy everything. They're gonna destroy us. They're gonna destroy my stories. They're going to destroy everything. I think it's us we should be worried about, Katuria, not your stories. Oh yeah? Yeah, they're just paper. They're just what? They're just paper. <laughs> If they came in right now and said, we're gonna burn two out of the three of you, you, your brother, or your stories, I'd have them burn you first, me second, and I'd have it be the stories that they say. You just banged my head on the table. I noticed that. You just banged my head on the table. I said I noticed that. Oh, you're just like mom and dad. Say that again. You're just like mom and dad, hitting me and, and shouting at me. <laughs> I'm just like mom and dad. <laughs> yeah, let me get this straight. Oh, don't start that. Mom and dad kept their firstborn child in a room where they tortured him for seven straight years. You made a little boy bleed to death and a little girl choke to death, and you're not like mom and dad. I slammed some fucking dimwit's head off the table and I'm like mom and dad. And yes, exactly, exactly. Well, Michael, I understand your reasoning. I really do. Good, you should. Well, let me say this. If mom and dad are looking down on us right now, I think that they'll be very glad that they can see a boy that they can be proud of. Don't say that. Truly proud of. You're basically a carbon copy of them. Maybe you should get a goatee beard here, or uh, wear glasses like him. Don't say or, that. Or wear, wear a lot of diamonds like her, or uh, or talk like this, my son. Don't say that, or I'll kill you. You're not gonna kill me, Michael. I ain't sad. I like her.